Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecopman12.blogspot.com and welcome to my unboxing and ultimate comparison of the Nintendo 3DS XL in black. Yes, this is the 3DS XL. Now, I did have an original 3DS pre recently before this one, but I did send it back due to it having some problems with the hinge. And I said I would get one eventually when they release another model, but the 3DS XL actually caught my eye, and since I've had the PlayStation Vita, I just couldn't go back to using the regular 3DS, so I needed a bigger screen, and this is 90% bigger, as the box tells you right there. And, as you can see, AC adapter is not included. That's slightly annoying, but thing is, I already have an AC adapter, so that's not too much of a problem for me. So, let's take a quick look at the box. So, full black colour, and the previous colours before this were very, very ugly. Uh, that's one of the sort of deal breakers for me, which is why I never really bought a 3DS XL to begin with. But, full black colour right now is great. And plus, I thought that the gold colour also looked very nice, but instead I opted for the black one. So, it includes a Nintendo 3DS XL system, a 3DS XL stylus, 4GB SD card, which is very nice because the original 3DS had a 2GB SD card, um, augmented reality cards, and an operations manual and quick start guide, and Nintendo 3DS software, DS and DSi software supported, and no Game Boy Advance software supported. No real sacrifice right there. And again, it says this the 3DS XL system does not um, support an AC adapter or have an AC adapter in the box. So, let's cut these bits of tape right over here, as this is going to be a new unboxing. That's one tape done right there. Ooh, two more right here. You might notice I'm actually recording in the exact same spa place and area where I actually recorded my PS Vita unboxing, which I'm surprised how much views that actually, that actually got, the Mega Pack. Okay, you know what, I'll just turn it this way. Right there. Okay, so that's actually open. Now before I do actually open this, I'm just going to say, look at how thin this box is. Do you have any idea how thick the original box was for the, three, for the original 3DS? Yep, it was that big. And that's really surprising, especially when you consider that this is an XL unit. You'd expect the box to be bigger with this, but no, with the original uh, much more compact unit, it is actually much, much thicker. So, that is very, very strange. But anyway, that's not why you came here to watch this video. You came here to look at the unboxing of the black 3DS XL. So, let's open this box up. I can hardly contain my excitement. And here we go. So, first we are presented with... I'm going to pull this up. So, we've got... I'm just going to cover that up. But don't worry, it'll be used before this video is uploaded on YouTube. you got, uh, looks like Nintendo Club points. Important information for parents, please read. So that's probably giving you some information about the 3D. Let's just take this all out. So, let's see. Yeah, it's Nintendo Stars points we talked about before. Important information for parents. A 3DS XL quick start guide, which pretty much does go into everything. Again, it's telling you this does not include a AC adapter. Operations manual, which, hmm, very nicely printed. Well done, Nintendo. We've also got a customer support paper right there, and the augmented reality cards, which I actually we all already have with the previous 3DS. And it's in a strange box right here, so let's see, you open it up from this end, I presume, or, or not, here you go, yeah, so we open it up like this. Now I did actually see the 3DS in stores just recently. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't initially initially going to actually take a look at one until I actually bought one, but I was looking at decide trying to decide which color to get, the gold or the black. So here it is, and it does seem much bigger in the in my actual house than it did outside. So let's reveal it. Wrong way apparently. Let's try again. Let's reveal the 3DS XL. Wow, there it is. Looks very nice this matte finish and a bit dusty. There we go. Dust can't good. And, hmm, that is actually very, very nice. It does seem a bit thick on the video, but trust me, it's not too thick. And people say it's quite heavy, but tell you, this is light as a feather. Um, it does weigh quite a bit more than, say, the PS Vita and the original 3DS, but that's because it's bigger, so your mind sort of compensates the size of the, of the unit in that respect. So you've got your volume slider right there, cartridge slot and everything right here, shoulder buttons right over here, and, yeah, 3DX, 3DS XL right there, cartridge slot, power adapter slot right there. The two 3D cameras, which were very, very poor quality. Little LED right over there to say when the cameras are being in use. And we have a uh, notification sort of like LED there as well to let you know when the system is on and charging. 
And now let's open up the system and take a look at those gigantic screens. There they are, wow. At home, in my house, they look so much bigger than they did in the actual store when I took a look. So we've got the regular th um, circle pad right here, A, A, X, Y, and B buttons, and the D-pad, power button, select home and start buttons, which are actual buttons, and the microphone resides right over there, as you can see. It says mic. And a couple of LEDs over there, and we've also got a lanyard sort of like port right over there and over here. The original 3DS don't have that. Now, you can actually notice right there, You've got a click that goes in the center, then another click that clicks over there, and then the final one right here. No one really wants to play in this kind of like orientation. But anyway, me plus I would not like this, but since I do review video games like I reviewed Spider-Man Edge of Time for the 3DS, this would actually be a very good angle for me to actually record the screen with, and it'll stick in, stay in place as well, so hmm, that's very good to me. Now, I'm going to put this down. And the reason why this is called an ultimate comparison video is because I'm actually going to compare it with a whole bunch of systems. So first, we've got the original 3DS. Now, this is my brother's, and since he's given me this, I'm going to include a link to his channel in the description below. Check it out and give him your support. And we'll take a look at the sizes of these. Now, as you can see, this is much more compact compared to this in terms of size, in terms of thickness. Let's take a quick look at that. They are about the same in terms of thickness, or at least they just look about the same. And here's going to be the big deciding factor, is when we actually open them up. So, let's open up the 3DS XL first, and then the original 3DS. And yeah, as you can see, the screen size is significantly bigger on both the screens. Only downside, though, is that uh, Nintendo did not increase the resolution of these screens, so you're getting the exact same PPI of these screens, but on a 90% larger screen. Now that can normally be a problem for smartphones and everything else, but Nintendo seemed to do a very good job with the DSi XL and the 3DS XL of actually using uh, the same resolution and just blowing it up onto a bigger screen. Normally, smartphone manufacturers, if they do that, you can notice the difference, but you can't really notice the difference that much when Nintendo do it, so props to Nintendo for that. We'll do more comparisons with this later on. Now, the next one to actually try out or compare is the original DS. Now this is my DS, which I've still taken very good care of, and I really do love this thing. Let's take a look at thickness. Hmm. Thickness-wise, you could argue that the DSi, oh, sorry, DS Lite, is a little bit thicker, or they might be about the same, really. Yeah, so the, hmm, quite interesting. Let's open them both up. And we've got both the screens here, as you can see, far bigger, even the bottom screen. That was to be expected, really. Now let's try something more interesting, the Sony PSP. I absolutely love this uh, console, I really do love it, it's quite sad to see it go. Let's see, is the PSP one of the biggest screens on a portable console now? Apparently not. As you can see, the 3DS XL has a much bigger screen than the original PSP. Thickness-wise, you're obviously can't really compare thickness to these. Clamshell design, and then just a design like this, but we'll just do it for the sake of it. As you can see, right there. This has a not so good analog stick, whereas this has a much better and superior analog stick. Okay, let's put this one back, and let's compare it with the PS Vita, its rival. So like I said, I can't really use the 3DS's screen anymore when you compare it with this, the PS Vita's huge screens. So let's take a look here, so you can see huge screen, and let's compare it with this. Oh uh, wow. <laughs> As you can see, screen sizes are about the same. Let's just take a look here, put it one on top of the other. Yeah, screen sizes are actually about the same. Except this seems a bit taller, whereas this seems more true, 16 by 9. This seems a bit wider, sorry, a bit taller. So yeah, I won't have a problem sort of like switching between these screens anymore. Let's take a look at the thickness. And, hmm, thickness is around about the same for both, but uh, since this is the PSV is a bit more tapered, you can't really tell that much. So, yeah, and if you open up the 3DS XL and compare it, obviously the XL will be thinner. But, there you go. That's the ultimate comparison over and done with. How does it actually look with a video game? So, I'm going to actually power this on, and then I'm going to boot up Spider-Man Edge of Time. Now, due to the wonders of video editing, you can actually see me playing 
Spider-Man Edge of Time on both 3DS systems. I do only own one copy of the game, but I'm just showing you how it actually looks on the on both systems. And if I notice any sort of pixelation differences as the screen resolution, as I stated before, is exactly the same as on the original 3DS. Now, I apologize for not seeing the screen too well, but it's a very, very sunny day today. And yeah, as you can see, not too much of a problem. Uh, playing this on the original 3DS has been absolutely fine. But I'm going to have to play it on the bigger screen since I've been using a PS Vita for so long. So uh, yeah, come to your own kind of like judgment. Me personally, I think that they both look really, really good. The 3DS XL looks a bit more pixelated, but that's because I'm comparing them both at the same time. If you were to actually use one instead of the other, then you'd notice uh, n pretty much next to no difference whatsoever. So yes, I'm very, very happy with the 3DS XL. And I'm really looking forward to playing more of my games on it, especially Street Fighter, as it'll be much more fun to play it on a bigger screen. So, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecom12.blogspot.com. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.